Okay, remember when I said Man of Steel is not as good as we do in returns? I'm not sure. Uh, so, I think Man of Steel and Superman Returns are tied to being awesome in the best Superman films. And the one still bad for Superman, in my opinion. So, what I like about this film, why I like this more than the rest of Chris Reese Superman, because it tells a more personal story of Superman's origins. Like it, it's it's more obvious that it's the man that makes this that makes the hero, not the other way around, not the suit. And in the flashback scenes, him, and I really like the uh, how the uh, from throughout the free action until General Zod comes, which that's when things just go dark and grim and depressing. And it's up to Superman to take on the. Uh, the uh his identity his uh as a hero for the first time and uh stop Zod. I'm going to say that again because I think I for some reason this thing froze. I don't know when it started, so it's so up to Sumi to take on the identity of a hero and um, and to stop Zod, who is causing all this chaos and destruction, and uh, now there's a there's a there's a this people say that Superman did more harm than good, but you gotta keep in mind this is the, the, the what this is the uh what how many times has he been Superman before this well nine so. He did a pretty good job for his first time. It's wiping off the floor. Some water off the floor. And he managed to stop Zod by snapping his neck because Superman became desperate to save the what's left of Metropolis. And these this family was going to get killed by Zod. And Zod is way more of a power than Superman because he has way more experience than Superman. Now people don't like Superman, didn't like Superman killing Zod, but for some reason they came with Batman killing the Joker and killing all of his enemies. But people also came with Superman killing the Joker and in Injustice beginning, so go figure. Makes no sense to me. I can, I'm the, I mean, um, I, 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 I don't think, uh, they're looking, in the way, in the way how people, uh, talk about the film, the, talk like Superman is, has become the new Batman when he's not, he has be, just become, well, um, Superman, and I think the reason why people get confused on Superman's character and the fact that he's pretty harmless, actually. I mean, he he wouldn't actually hurt anyone unless they make it necessary. I mean, unless there's a bully, a human person that's a bully, it shows that he's really uh well, will just take it like a man and uh. And, uh, and as it demonstrates in the flashback scene, the flashback scenes are really uh, uh, be beautiful to watch because you see Superman, you see Superman's actions, and you see that he really is still the uh, symbol of hope. But they gave him fl flaws, but they made him a flaw. But they still made sure he was a flawed character, like in the first Christopher Reeve Superman film. So, I just think uh, this is not what I'm saying about this. I think this is, might be better than uh, might be my favorite Superman film next to Batman v Superman. 
So, Batman is like slightly better, but I think that this is the best standalone Superman film. So, I think it's better than Superman Returns and all the Chris Free Superman films, is what I'm saying. So, I'm defending this film because I, I, just, I really like the, the Superman, and now uh, he's actually my favorite person that. Kenny Cavill really does a good job capturing the heart of Superman and what made him special in the Golden Age and the Silver Age and the Bronze Age and pretty much the New 52 Age run of Superman. And this, I noticed that this, now this actually takes heavily inspiration from the New 52 Age of Superman. I can tell because, well, well, Superman the New 52 Age looks exactly like this. What he does in the movie. Without the... Negative colors. Because of the color grading. Now, I, if I say... If I have to say... The only one thing I didn't like about this film is the color grading. It just doesn't so look like Superman's press. It doesn't fit with his... The the uh the color does not fit Superman's personality. It does not fit his identity. It does not fit who he is. It this uh, the color makes it look like it's going to be makes it look like a uh, dark gritty Superman. Uh, when we ever uh, you see the film, it's the far from the truth. Is actually a very hopeful Superman. Who's filled with hope and who chooses to see the best of the inhuman instead of the worst. Now, most of the time throughout the two act structure as Superman's dope, Superman seems kind of lost and a little depressed because he doesn't know who he is. He doesn't know his place in the world. So he keeps on Quitting job after job, getting bullied and and and, and the job and uh and uh and then uh well keep on saving people whenever it's needed. Then Lois Lane starts to catch on to his starts to catch up to him uh, and starts doing some digging on him and what's his real name and he found he finds his name's Clark Kent. So, I like the scene that the bully that was bullying Sumian on the uh, bus, uh, the stint gave Clark who Clark was away. Like, didn't tell him that he was an alien or had different abilities because uh, the bully knew that, that, which became Superman's buddy later on in the film because Sumian decided to save the bully even though he was being really mean to him. And I like the scene when the bully that used to be bully Suman sees Suman get bully, and Suman just crushes the uh, well, crushes the well. You see, Suman was always that wood he was holding on the fence as a kid. You see that he was crushing the fence, uh, crushing the fence to hold to hold to control his anger, and this until, and and uh, he just kept on taking the hits that he, that the bullies were giving. The uh, bullies, these bullies would keep on beating Clark up, and uh, he didn't get hurt at all because he's an alien. Uh, but he just took it and uh, and like a, he just took it like a tough guy, you know, uh, uh, kept on holding on to this uh, uh, f f he held on to his metal fence and it just bends it with his bare hands. And uh, you see, he was holding on with his bare hands and crushing it all. Little after, and after, this was after the bullies just walk away after being up Clark and bullying him. The bully that was bullying Clark on the bus became his friend, decided to help Clark up and give him a hand to get for him to get it back up. So the bully uh, decides that he, like that that person decides he liked Clark, the, the, like not only respects Clark but starts to like Clark. <coughs> so, and I like this. Uh, I also like the scene when he, uh, 
when he uh, he just like he felt like he didn't have the, he had didn't have a choice to like to like let them die, and his uh, father his father asked to lectures him that you got to keep this that got to keep this these powers a secret, and Clark said, "What was I supposed to do? Just let them die?" And and uh, his father says, "Maybe in a way." He says in a way that he doesn't really know. That's how he says it. As in, he doesn't have any of the answers. So he reveals to the clock that he's an alien and he came from outer space. And clock says to um, his father, can he just pretend to be his son? And it, it, this leads into a very warm heart feeling that uh, when his father hugs him saying, you are my son. But out there, he, he uh, you know, he also says, the father says, out there, they're, they're your real parent, there's your real parents somewhere out there, and they sent you here for a reason, Clark, and I gotta believe that. And he tells Clark whatever is good or bad, you own that to yourself to find out what that reason is, even if it takes the rest of your life, basically. He says that, huh? He he says that. So, and I like that at the end when uh, Superman said to his mom, uh, his Earth mom, he says he wishes Dad was here to see to see to see him uh, to see that he found himself. And uh, and uh, I like how the mother said he did see 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 a clock. And uh, this leads to a very uh, uh, cute and also beautiful scene where uh, you see uh, this dog playing with Clark and uh, like John St. Kent starts his, 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 looks like he has this image in his head when he sees Clark wearing this uh, cape and posing as classic Superman. Like almost like he knows that he's uh, going to be a hero. So after Superman saves Zod and saves Metropolis by killing Zod, he just lets out a big yell, and uh, because he starts to realize he truly is the last of his kind now, he because he felt like he basically killed whatever was left of his kind, so he is happy that he say he chooses the he chooses the human who human race. Because those are more family, those are, that's more of it. He's more close to the human race because the human race uh, raised him, the, the mold him, and to be the man he is today by, the, by uh, Jonathan Kent and Martha Kent. And he's gone so attached to the humans, he, he sees more himself in the humans that he sees himself and the Kryptonians that try and kill of all human race and turning the the playhouse into a Krypton so that the humans can't survive but the Kryptonians can. And Suman finds this out what Zod's plan is when uh, he's in this hologram he's in this uh, virtual reality and he uh, begs Stark to Zod to not do it. And uh, when he stops Zod, uh, he kills all Zod's men. Zod just suddenly decides to stop snap because he, 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 he realized that he failed his mission and he has no purpose in life. Well, Suman, and, he, and he's lost like Suman was in the beginning of the film, which was mostly his whole entire life. Almost his entire life he was lost. So, but he actually found him, so he found peace in himself by becoming Superman. And the public decides to call him Superman. And it's kind of hinted at that low slang gave him that name. Because she was about to say 
Superman, and then uh, the public decides to call him Superman. So he adopts. And he he like he is now called being called. So he now is Superman. Uh, now is be called is called Superman, but he doesn't really become Superman until he gets this really. Ins- he doesn't really become Superman. Uh, the one that he doesn't really be, he doesn't really fully feel. He doesn't really uh, embrace the idea the the the, uh, the whole idea of being Superman until uh, he sees Lois drifting like crashing into Earth and. Uh, and uh, as what his alien father said that sent him to us, who's a hologram, played by Gerard Butler, asked him if what Zod said about is true. That, that and uh, he says that uh, says that. The mo- his mother and uh, his father just wanted the best for him, and he, his uh, virtue and uh, his uh, and, and he can tell that that she see Clark all grown up because his subconscious is downloaded into uh, the where his subconscious downloaded into the fortress of Saul too and uh, the ship. Uh, the Zod's on. And this, uh, thing that they're looking for called the Codex. It was, it was uh, the thing that is, uh, that Zod and his army think that is, that's in Sumian's, uh, ship. Only play to realize that the Codex is really implanted in Sumian's genetics. Mm. By his by his dad, and we see this at the uh, beginning of the film when a uh, Krypton's being invaded and uh, about to be destroyed, and it's being saved by Zod's army. General Zod get uh, captured and go get condemned to and banished for almost entire forever, pretty much like for a long, long many years. And uh, the Phantom Zone, then they get released from Phantom Zone after Krypton blows up. Uh, and they've been searching almost over, they've been searching years and years to find Kal El, who is Subban, who is Clark Kent. So, anyway, Subban doesn't fully. Feel he he starts to really becomes the uh class becomes Superman when he uh is when he decides uh to he's he starts to really and uh embrace the whole uh hero thing and stop running from who he is when uh uh because of when uh he starts to stop running from who he is but, but when he uh when Zod comes to Earth. Because of Zod, he stops, starts to slowly stop running from who he is, is a, when, who that person is, is a hero. And, and so, that's, that's who he is. And he, and he, uh, and, uh, so, and, uh, and he, and he slowly starts to feel more and more like Superman. But I feel like the number one thing that starts, makes him really feel like Superman is when, uh, he gets a speech from uh, his his uh, alien dad, uh, Jarrell, uh, and who's a uh, uh, hologram. He tells Clark after he's after his mother and uh and uh his, his mother and uh Jarrell wanted the best for him. He wanted they wanted him to decide. What man he wants to be when he grows up. So, so he decides to, so he just tells Clark that and, and encourages Clark and tells him he can save everybody, he can save the world. So he, uh, so he does. He saves all of them. He saves Lois, 
all the people that matched him and uh sure there was some casuals. There was obviously civilians lost and uh collateral damage, but most of it was caused by Zod and uh, some caused by Suman by the Kim kicking Zod's ass. But it's not as bad as class of damage as the Avengers have pulled in the past before uh, that, uh, that we saw in 2012's Avengers. Or Age of Ultron. Or every Avengers film that takes place in the MCU. Like Infinity War, Endgame, Civil War, Captain America Civil War, yeah, well, technically it's called Captain America's Come on, let's be honest, it's an Avengers film. It literally tells a bad story about a personal story about but it, it doesn't tell a lazy story about Captain America, but it tells a pretty damn solid story about the Avengers. That movie, Captain America Civil War. So Nancy still is a pretty uh kick ass uh, film and it's very uh very uh, very emotional draining because there's like so many parts that gives you goosebumps. And, uh, so many scenes that you, you want to see, and so many things that you want to see, uh, you want to see, uh, and the film, what I'm trying to see is the film makes you see the best in, in, in everything in the world because of Superman, you know? Because it's that awesome. And it's that beautiful. It's because to be better than uh I also use if you wanna make a better origin story than uh if you want the better origin story uh the best origin story is when the seem the most personal to our main protagonist, which in this case is Superman. And this feels like the personal story you can that I ever seen in any comic book uh, lore adaptation to take on Superman for when it comes to the origin story. I haven't seen honestly any origin story or in any adaptation, not even in the anime series, total more personal uh, uh, story of Superman's origins. So, and therefore, I can't help but love it. <sighs> Oh, and uh, Lois no, finds out Clark's identity and and uh, knows that he's Superman, which I guess people are confused by that. That uh, that uh, at the end, I heard some people were confused by that. When uh, does she not know that he's that he's Superman? When uh, she has said his Clark, she has re- referred to him as Clark several times as Superman. And she knows that his legal name is Clark Kent when she was doing investigating it on him and working on a story about him. Then decided to put on the story because of how worried is that people, the thought of people might freaking out and panicking. So, when he uh, goes to the Daily Blend um, as Clark Kent, He's literally, uh, it's like, is using his legal name, Clark Kent. So, I don't see, I don't, I don't I'm sorry, but how, I'm saying, um, I don't see what, what's the confusion, why people wondering why, is, why, why wondering why Lois is, does Lois know that he's Clark, or that Clark and Sue are the same thing? What I'm trying to say is, of course she does. She gives a brief wink at the end, actually. You can, it's, it's less than a second. very quick. It's a very, very brief wink. You can barely see it, but I guess you've seen the show, seen rewind the film enough. Uh, you wind, you wind the, you have to, you have to just like have the film and pause moment and uh, pause the film for a second at the end. You just have to time it right, or you could see the film several times, and like I have, and pick up on the small little subtle 
cheese that the film uh, that the, of of of, of uh, that little subtleties that are there. I love the details that are in the story, included in the story. So, I really like this scene. I I was really sad scene when you saw. Now, a lot of people think it was kind of stupid how I like well, lamb asses on the internet. I like. Airheads on the internet. Think that's stupid. That how Superman let his Earth dad, uh, Jonas Kent, die when uh and uh saying that he just just let him die when technically he let Dylan die, but he didn't just let him die. He he did hesitate to go save him. So technically, he didn't just let him die. He had to go. He was going to go save him, but then, su- then uh, his dad, dad, uh, d- dad, d- d- told him to stop, and basically saying the world wasn't. It's not ready to see him yet. Uh, uh, see who he is yet, even though secretly, his dad, Jonathan Kent, knows that he already is a hero. Superman just doesn't know it yet until until his late years, until he leaves the farm. And um, you can tell that Superman's kind of traumatized by this of uh, loss of his of his Earth dad because he the you, you see him break down in tears and yelling and yelling dad, so. Is this how how people say that how he just say that Superman just just let uh, his dad die when as in almost like he didn't care, and I don't like how people like to I don't like how people lie about this film a lot, like they lie that Superman is like a Superman is is like this big meanie who this big. Badass, and I, and I, I also, I'm just going to say, I don't think Superman fans are as, as smart as they think they have some of them, like, I don't know, like Angry Joe, like, like, it's almost like he wants Superman to be an asshole. That's probably why he didn't like Batman and Superman at all, because Superman, and the comics is literally a, a size to see the best in the area, and decides to obey what Superman was, even though he could... Do the easy way. Sort of like Batman. In every adaptation, live adaptation. Yep. Just kill people, Batman. Don't do the right thing. Do the easy thing. Don't do the hard thing, the hard thing, making it harder on yourself, like a combo cowpox. Don't be like a combo cowpox. Be less. Be less of a man. So I'm, I, I'm just really pissed because I I hate I hate the Batman live adaptations and Lego Batman proved me how much they suck. All because he decides to break his one rule that's kind of a that that he's known for in the comics. Sure, he breaks in in all the other life adaptations and the Arkham games, but he doesn't really break in his comic book counterparts, therefore making Lego Batman the best superior Batman than any other life adaptation of Batman next to the Batman on Gotham. Yep, the best Batman life adaptation, less best life adaptation of Batman is the one on Gotham, the one who hasn't got a movie. And also, I think because of the decide just to make the Batman the biggest pussy on the planet, more than Freddy Krueger in live adaptation, is so pathetic. I bet I could kick Batman's ass easily. Not the one from the comics. No, no, I'm too afraid of that Batman because he doesn't kill people, yet he will brutally, well, probably, they'll just end up on hospital. 
um, I was saying, uh, what I'm trying to say is, I like Daredevil, Ben Affleck as Daredevil more than I liked him as Batman. Because he was a more well written character. And Batman v compared when you make when you see Batman v Summit. Why? Because he kills less people. But he doesn't really like, always kill people, he just sometimes well, only one time let, let one person die. And just not let him save just not save him. So sort of like Christian Bale. Batman's did that. And Batman begins he now I I'm just question. Uh now people say he's a murderer. I'm like the he's not a murderer. I'm like his combo counterpart, Daredevil, which I kind of disagree because it's not really murdering. If one thing Christian Bale 